And this is the Meerkat Central, or the Central Market. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Now, that's not so great. So there's four different yeah. croquettes. Yeah, we're in the central market. We've got um, a prawn one, a ham on Iberico, a chicken, and a mushroom. The Puchero, I think, is like home of the house or something. Like chicken. Oh, yeah. so, I'm going to try that one first. I don't, I don't know what that one so is. So let's try. Which one you got? 100% mushroom. Where's the mushroom one? Yeah. There. Yeah. Ah, bolitos. It is mushroom. Really mushroom, mate. Four croquettes for five euros. And a glass of wine, two fifty. So we've just spent ten euros. Hello. And this place is open till three, but we've got to go and check in at three. Which one have you got there? I'm an Iberico. It's really clean, mate. I'm an Iberico. Yeah. That's the mushroom. We're on the market, it's the um, Super Gourmet, it's called. If you can see that, it's down, as you come from one entrance, um, swing a left, so many corridors along and it's on the end. What do you think? That's about to burn the mushroom. It's, the mushroom's got a really strong taste, hasn't it? It is really creamy. So this one. And I think I prefer I prefer that one to the mushroom. But Do you? Yeah. All right. This one's the chicken. Mm. The chicken's really nice. The website is supergourmet.es. So what? Try the prawn now, because I think we need to move on quick. They're really garlic, eh? Are they? Yeah, they taste a bit like they've got potato in them as well. Oh. This was the one I was. I hadn't seen the mushroom one, so the mushroom one would have been my least favourite, I think. The prawn one would have been a close to last because. Only because I like prawns. You've not tried it though yet? Only because I thought it may be a little bit fishy. Let's see. It's not. Yeah. There is a fish taste there to it, not overpowering, I like that. And yes, it is potato -y. yeah. All in all, not bad, but we're going to go and find somewhere else as well. Helen's not seen these, look at these. So the marmalades. But the marmalades have got a favourite uh, Moscatel wine, which is really sweet, sangria. Coke, rum and coke. Yeah, I think you can live without all that. Gin and tonic. Mojito. Jasmine. <laughs> this is the standard for markets, as far as we're concerned, that everything else is judged against, shall we say. I think that's yeah. the best way of putting it. But you can get all sorts of say, I'm sure we saw. I've got a mix. What the hell? I don't think it's real. But I, I could be is. wrong. I think it is, I think it's dry. This is over till three o'clock. It's basically from seven till three, I think, every day apart from Sunday and red days. Ooh. 
Oh, it's going to be like this the whole way around. Why, do you want something from there? Yeah, uh, look. Glass of wine. And we have cheeses. We've and got little ham. sausages and we've got Serrano ham. It's Negra ham. Look at it, see? I am for a penny for food. I think people are getting stuff from here. So this is uh, El Rincon del Jamón. Yeah. 6.50. <laughs> so the pens are 4 euros and the wine... 125. But the wine at the other place was 2.50. Well, but we're we're not going to get yes. that much, but we'll see. So it's a, not a bad size for you know, Tinto. And I've got, the, I've got my uh, phone under my arm, so I'm struggling a bit. So I've got the... I'm going to have to try and hold everything in one hand. I'm going to struggle to get this out. That's really nice because it's cut really, really fine. Try the wine. I've tried it. It's all right, Not it? as nice as the other one. I've got the taste at the end of that. So this is our tunnel del jamón, which is basically mm. tunnel of ham. Now, these have also got cones and wine. So a lot of the stuff you can buy to try while you're here, or you can buy the packs to take away. You know when you look on TripAdvisor for best places to eat in Valencia? This is, what, is probably number one. Yeah, it's uh, the central bar. But there's the queues. There's a queue to get a seat even, so I don't think we've got time to do that. Had we got enough time, if we got here early enough, we could have probably done a street food tour in here. Yeah. So we'll just show you the bits that we get. Helen. Duck eggs. Duck eggs. What, well, oka? No, that oka. We roast it oka. 450. Quavers the pato, which is duck eggs, 150. Are they ostrich eggs? Interesting. Obviously, Valencia is famous for paella. It's the birthplace of paella, and you'll see that in another video. But one of the ingredients they have in the traditional Valencian paella. It's stainless. This is preparation for when we go to Thailand because it is. they it's don't very cook fresh. it here though. Yeah, it's very fresh. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at this. They're not moving now. Oh yeah, they are. See how we put these potatoes? They, they, they could potentially be pebbles, but they're not. What is the name for? Well, it depends whereabouts in uh, this province you come from. Somewhere they call pachina, and somewhere they call taina. But they're like little cockles, and they're really, really tasty. And they've got tortillas, but that one's got potatoes and truffle in it. Onion at the back. No, not another bottle. Another glass of wine. Mm, the they were only a euro, a glass then. Mm. Yeah, a euro yeah. a glass. 
and a pasty. I've already broken it it's enough. They've got all sorts of different flavours. This one is the Argentinian beef flavour. They were 150. So it cost us 3.50. Mm. You like? For me, the mushroom croquetta were also a stay steak. Interesting stuff. Ooh, they've got uh, cheese pasty Ooh, as well. Flatmates. Yeah, but look, the cheese pasties. They're really nice. <laughs> Andy's wounded again. No pastrami. And it was. You'll have to go to Iceland and get some. It's not the same. It's probably a damn sight cheaper though, let's be honest. What? What are you seeing for Strabe? <laughs> <laughs> so we're back here on Monday morning then. Now that pack, for the record, is a tenner. Right, that's expensive. So now we're going to leave the Central Market. I don't think we'll be back on Monday. It's closed tomorrow, which is Sunday. Uh, and this is the... Oh, there's multiple entrances, but... This is what we came to see. We might as well show you some of them. But the ones that we'll be looking at will be a lot bigger and better than that one, I think. Yeah, I mean... What you need to bear in mind is she's gone the wrong way, one way. She's gone looking for food.